to my channel. So I thought it'd be a really cool idea to do a beginner makeup startup startup kit kind of thing. So all the products that I'm going to be mentioning here are products that I truly believe would be the best products to use Like if you're just getting into makeup, if you want to have something for each category to have in your collection that um, that's super affordable, um, easy to find too. And a lot of these products, it's, they're always they're always out to buy, and they're usually like never out of stock or anything like that. Um, but yeah, super affordable. Everything's pretty much 15 and below. Um, I'll get into that once we actually get to the products. But so I will let you know what I think is the best of the best that the drugs are to have in your collection. If you're only going to have like one thing. One thing from each category, these are truly the holy grails at the drugstore that I believe are the best. So if you want to see how I got this drugstore look right here, just go ahead and keep on watching. So all of these products are specifically ones you could get at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, and Ulta. So I did kind of have to take some stuff out, but I did substitute with them with actual in-store products. So that's what we're doing today. So the first thing that I always start off with is brows. And I truly believe one of the best, like if you're getting into makeup, if you're wanting to not pay a lot of money on brows, is definitely this e.l.f. brow pencil. This is honestly like $2. And if you're just wanting maybe one brow product in your collection to not have a whole bunch of them, you just like, I, like I said earlier, just having one of each. This is $2 that literally has, comes with a spoolie. And, and then you have your brow pencil over here and for two dollars I think this is a really great product it's super super creamy it works really well so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my brows I honestly can't even believe that this is two dollars like this is crazy it's super creamy it blends like with the spoolie so good like I freaking love this and next for to set your brows in place I know it's not like necessary when you're starting your makeup collection but for me it is it's something I need to do but however this one's not gonna break the bank this one is a three dollar brow gel from Essence it's the make me brow I live and I swear by this I've tried other brow gels that I, I do like but I always repurchase this one not it's not a necessity in my life it is but for three dollars this is amazing okay so I have two things to mention here for eyeshadow so <laughs> I'm gonna start with these ones this is the soap does nails in collaboration with makeup revolution I have her first palette here and then I have her second one which is the extra spice I'll go ahead and open them up for you now these palettes do retail for $15 which in my opinion is not bad at all because for $15 based on the quality and the quantity of shadows that you get is honestly unbelievable it's so crazy these are the two palettes here there's, there is palettes at like Target and Walmart from L'Oreal, Milani, Physicians Formula that are the same price as these palettes or some of them are even more and I just think for what you get with these it's so good and these are like staple products in my collection because you have so much to work with here where this could be a one-stop shop where you have your neutrals you have some color like you honestly don't really need another palette when you have one of these I mentioned these two elf ones because these ones are ten dollars so they're a little bit cheaper I have the rose gold sunset one which is this one right here and then I have this newer one. It's These are their 10 pan shades. This is the Modern Metals one. This one is a dupe for the Chris and Dominique Latte palette, which I know it has some colors in here. This is truly a good palette if you want those pops of colors, or you can just kind of go with this rose gold one here. I wanted to mention this because these ones are cheaper than the Makeup Revolution ones. They're both great palettes. All of these are those nails. I'm going to use her first palette here because like I said, for $15 for what you get, it's truly, truly amazing. And it will be such a good palette to have in your kit when you're starting out with makeup. And if you just want something good from the drugstore, that's honestly going to work amazing. And then also, real quickly, before I actually get into that, I want to talk about brushes. I have people ask me all the time what kind of brushes I use, and I use a lot of different ones, but <laughs> I use Morphe and BH brushes on my eyes like every single day. Those are what I go for. Um, you can get Morphe brushes in store at Ulta, but you can't really get 
uh, BH Cosmetics eye brushes in store. Those are ones you have to order online, so I cut those out of this video. So I did grab some Morphe brushes here. They're like $6 and below. You can get them at Ulta. And then I also wanted to include the Real Techniques brushes. Um, these aren't my favorite, but if you're specifically wanting to buy from Walmart or Ulta and not have to buy any brushes online that are affordable, I would definitely say the Real Techniques ones. I'm taking my Morphe M573. I'm pretty sure this is like a 5 or $6 brush here. Um, so I'm going to go into, I'm just doing something real simple. Um, I'm going into this shade right here and I'm just going to pop that in my crease. Okay, and now I'm going to take this Real Techniques, I'm pretty sure this is the Deluxe Crease Brush. Yep, it's the Deluxe Crease Brush. And like I said, I'm just keeping it very simple here. This pinky shade right here, and I just want to throw that in the crease. Why not? Ooh. I like that salmon moment in my crease there. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> okay, so now to deepen up my outer corner, I'm just going to mix these two dark brown shades. And I'm going in with this Real Techniques. Uh, let's see. This one is the base shadow brush, so I'm just... Mixing these two right here. I'm just going to place this on my outer corner. This gold shade right here. And I'm going to pop that on my lid. And I'm taking this Wet n Wild. It's honestly, it's just a flat, it's a, just a flat brush. So... Okay, and so now, primer. Okay, so I have two different ones here because I feel like it might depend on like your skin type, whether you have dry or oily skin or just kind of what you prefer for the day. Like if you want to use a matte foundation or a dewy foundation, it just kind of depends. So one of my, these are actually like my holy grails too when it comes to primer, so it's kind of funny. So if you're wanting like a pore filling primer like here in your T-zone if you get oily, I highly recommend the Baby Skin by Maybelline. It's the Instant Pore Eraser. I believe this is like five or six dollars or the wet and wild photo focus dewy primer this is four or five dollars I'm actually going to use both of them I'm going to use this one on my t-zone I'm going to use these on the rest of my face but yeah it's honestly just kind of a preference what your skin type is like me I like to mix these because I have combo skin I do have super dry skin I'm more on the dry side but then I just get so oily in my t-zone so yeah I'm going to go ahead and apply those foundation here is one that, one that I've been using for a very long time. I stand by this product. I think it's so good. It's the Maybelline, well they have two. There's the Maybelline Matte and Poreless and then there's the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. I lean more towards the Dewy and Smooth just because I have more, I have combo skin but it's more on the dry side. I do like the Matte and Poreless when I have a hydrating primer when I really prep my skin. Today I didn't really do that because I did the pore filling in the middle and I just did a dewy kind of glowy. The Real Techniques one is a holy grail. Like this is... Four or five dollars, you can find this at Walmart, Target, or Ulta. And then there's also this L'Oreal one. I bought this because Casey Holmes raved about it, and ever since then, I've been loving it. So these are definitely ooh, really good sponges. I highly recommend either one of them. I have two concealers here, both for different reasons. Um, so I, the Maybelline Fit Me, which is like five or six dollars, I like using this for like a medium coverage. And then the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, I have I have two shades here, uh, but I like this when I want a more full coverage. Um, so I'm actually gonna mix the both of them. They're both really good concealers. It really is a preference thing if you want that medium coverage or if you want full coverage or if you want to get them both because they're so affordable. If you're looking for a cream contour, the uh, Wet n Wild Contour Stick, this is in the shade Call Me Maple. 
This is like three or four dollars. If you're if you're someone who's just getting into contour, you're not sure, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. This this blends so so nicely. For powder, um, you guys know I do not like to bake my face. I go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, which is like a four or five dollar powder. Um, I swear by this. This is so good if you want to press powder. But I did want to mention the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. If you like to bake your face, if your face isn't super dry like mine maybe, you would really, really like this. This is a 5 or $6 powder. I'm actually going to bake today, which is crazy. I do want to use both. I'm going to bake my under eyes but use this for the rest of my face. So I just like to use my... My sponge, I will just tap in like this and my mom's the kind of person she puts on foundation and then she goes out and I'm like mom your makeup's going to like move all over the place you're gonna get it everywhere she, I've seen so many of her coats where she has foundation on the side of her coats and it's like girl you need to set that like set your face like for um I want to talk about this real quick this is the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette this is like four or five dollars it has a pressed like banana 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 powder here in a contour which I'm going to go ahead and contour with and then I will go into the bronzer. Okay, so now for bronzer. This is kind of pricey for a drugstore bronzer. It's the Physi Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is like $13. However, this is the bronzer that beats anything I've ever tried. I have high-end bronzers. I have drugstore bronzers. This is so... Like this just tops everything. So that's why I highly suggest whether you really do love makeup or you're getting into it, like this is a bronzer you could pick up and just, this is it. This is so good. And then of course I'm using an e.l.f. elf brush here. This is the e.l.f. complexion brush. And I am just going to go ahead and just bronze up my skin now. These are like $3 blushes, they're from Wet n Wild. I have two here, this is the Apricot in the Middle, this is Pearlescent, Pearlescent Pink. I'm actually going to take Apricot in the Middle. I love this blush and for $3 you can't go wrong, it's a good, like, like, even though they're like so affordable, like people who have a lot of makeup, they still go back to these products all the time. So it's definitely a good product to still have in your collection, but it's also like a good one to start out with too, so. Oh, okay, I know I use that, but I also wanna talk about this one. If you don't want one that's like a glowy blush, the Essence Satin Blush, this is like less than $3. Mine's broken here. But this, this is a good one, super affordable. You, it, it's like, that's literally all I can say. It's super affordable, it's a good one to start out with. It's the Satin Blush. Pigmented, it blends really nicely on the face, can't go wrong. I highly recommend that too. So the star of the highlighter is at the drugstore or Wet n Wild, and they have a few different formulas which I want to talk about. They have their loose highlighting powder. This is written in the stars from their Zodiac collection, really good. They have this one as well from their Zodiac, which is a gold one, really good. But the ones that I think are so good, they're the most affordable out of out of the ones I just talked about. They're four dollars. They're the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I have Blossom Glow, Golden Flower Crown, and Precious Petals. Precious Petals is honestly a ride or die, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, this is the e.l.f. highlighting brush, so again, a super affordable highlighting brush. Oh my god, four dollars! Four dollars! So freaking stunning. Fine, I'm taking a Morphe M213. You can get this, I think this is like a three or two, I think this might be even, even be $2. You can get this at Ulta. I love Morphe brushes. If you're looking for a good liner to put in your waterline, I really like the L'Oreal Infallible 16 Hour Never Fail Eyeliner. It does have a little smudger on it, but this is so pigmented and I, I really I really like this. I know there's a lot of good ones out there, but this is the one I recommend. I just love how this sits in my waterline, and it's, it's so pigmented. 
Okay, now for mascara. These are four or five dollar mascaras, both from Essence. Freaking amazing. You have mascaras at the drugstore that are like nine, ten dollars. They're good, like they're amazing. I have some of them, but these ones are like half the price. This is the Essence Volume Stylus 18 hour lash extension, and this is the, I was gonna say L'Oreal, sorry. Essence Lash Princess. I love these both four or five dollars. Highly recommend. They're both skinny wand mascaras which I love for lower lashes but I also love for um, top lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lash princess one to my bottom lashes here okay and now for lips I have a lot of these the Maybelline lipsticks are so good they're like five or six dollars they have so many different shades to choose from I have these five right here I have this bright ass red I know not everyone wants a bright ass red to start off their collection here um, but these are the nude ones that I have. I have Touch of Spice, Beige Babe, Nude List, and Peach Buff. My favorite out of all of these has to be Beige Babe. This can go with any look. This can go with a warm tone look. This can go with a cool tone look. This can go with a super, super colorful look. So I feel like if you're going to get one, get something that's in the nude range because you can definitely pair those with anything. And these lipsticks, they're so comfortable on the lips. Next, let's see, lip glosses. Okay, so I have two here. The NYX Butter Glosses, you can get these for like $3 sometimes at Walgreens when they're on sale, but I think normally they're five or six dollars. Holy grail items, and they're so stunning. I will show you guys here in a second, but I did wanna mention these, cause these are like $2.50. They're the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Glosses. Now, if you want a sparkly gloss, these are so pretty. I have four here. I have Libra, Pisces, Taurus, and Aquarius. These are so pretty. Sparkly glosses, super, super affordable. So I did want to mention those real quick. And like I said, this is a preference thing depending on what you want. So I wanted to mention two different ones. But I'm going to go in with the NYX Butter Gloss here. Ah! Jade Fortune Cookie. I'm just going to pop this on over top. I love setting spray. It's like one of my favorite things to buy, funny enough. So I'm mentioning these here. These are $10. They're from Flower Beauty. I'm mentioning this for multiple different reasons. First, $10 I think is not bad. Um, and definitely by Flower Beauty. You have She has one that has a, a dewy finish and one that has a matte finish, which I think is pretty cool because depending on what you want, you can go with one or the other. And I love the nozzle on these. They're so... It's, it's so fine. It's not one that you're going to squirt and have problems with the nozzle where it might leave like little like water droplets on your face. But I just wanted to mention both of them. I do like the dewy one over the matte one just because I like a dewier finish. But I did want to mention both because they're both super good. Super, super good? Super good. <laughs> they're, and honestly, I think they're the best at the drugstore. I really like the Morphe setting spray. You can get that at Ulta. But it is $15. The only thing that was the highest price was the palette. But I think $15 for a palette where you, like I said, quality and quantity by far, I would pay that at the drugstore. But these, the Wet n Wild has good ones. But the finish of these and the application of these are honestly the best. So if you're going to get any, I recommend these ones. I'm actually going to go in with both because why the hell not? So good. <laughs> now I'm going in with the dew. Whoa! Going in with the dewy one. Anyway, so this is the finished look here.